Welcome to my channel of Life Over 70. And I just wanted to show you, I do have two solar pumps. And I've had them put up for over a year. I had them in the pantry in the closet. Now they only work in direct sunshine. And if you can kind of see, there was a cloud and it went past, now it's working. Also, the water has to be a little bit deeper for it to do it because yesterday I set it out there in the direct sun and it just didn't want to do it all. And see, the it's such a nice spine. It's great for bird bass, it really is. But do you see how the wind is just barely blowing and they're just going every which way. I mean, it blows the stream just crazy. So, I mean, yesterday I stuck a plant where the wind was blowing and it uh, took it away. But they do work fine. Uh, this one on the left, they're two different brands, I believe. And I don't know if you can kind of see how uh, one of them's got the lines that goes around and then the other one's got lines like the Wrecker solar panels. One on the left like the Wrecker solar panels. But it, it didn't work at all yesterday and it set out in the sun. Maybe it just needed to be charged because like I say, it's been up a while. Now look, there's a little bit of a cloud. It's not much, but I mean, there is sun. Can you see the sun everywhere? But not enough sun for it to work. So again, really direct sun for those to work. I mean, they would just go all day as long as they were sun, and then they go off, and then you make sure you have water. I was gonna show y'all my flowers right quick while I'm showing you the bird bath, and uh, some of them are blooming. So this little plant right here is called Garzinia. It's, it's like a zinnia, and it comes up, and it flowers, and then it closes back up at night, and the same flower opens up the next day. Now, isn't that the greatest little thing? I do like that. I've got some petunias. I think that's petunias. And colux. Got some uh, hibiscus. They haven't quite really bloomed out yet. And I do not know what this plant is right here. It just started growing up out of this pot. And I thought it was going to be a pretty flower, but it just does that. So I thought it was cute. Got a little bit of cilantro and some, looks like some dill came up and some thyme, lavender. Got some tomatoes. And those are my lemon trees. I had cut a lemon and it was the best lemon I've ever had and it had lots of seeds. And I thought, well, they had said that if you do have any fruit that has lots of seeds, it's probably a really good plant, you know, because that's how they reproduce. So I saved them, let them dry, and I put some in both of the little cups. And it's just now coming up good. That one's got a little bit, but not much, but this one's really doing good. So I hope they come out. And this is my waterfall uh, for my bird bath that I made the other day. I did add a few rocks to it because it was a little bit deep and if the bird wanted to come and land, they needed to sit here you know, somewhere steady and uh, maybe get down there. And that might be a little bit too big of a flow. I have not seen any birds here uh, around it, but maybe they just aren't really interested in it. I don't know. And uh, there's some more herbs. Although oregano was really going crazy. I really do like this. Sorry, I had just potted something I thought that. I really do like that. And that little pump has this little light. And it, I had it down in the water. But it's kind of cute. It kind of sits up there on that thing. Down that little popper at the Goodwill back first of January. It goes in a fish tank, you know, and I just repainted it. I do have another hibiscus over here and uh, something else with then purple jew and a little Gerber Daisy over there trying to come up. But it it did bloom for a while, but it hasn't come back out. But anyway, aren't those cloths? Colos is good. Not colos, what are they? I'll have to show you what the thing says. 
checked out really now. Cellos, cellos. Well, anyway, celosia. I got them. I thought they were beautiful. I just thought. Oh, okay. now looky here. We're going, 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 going. Bird bath, bird bath. Water fountain. So, if you are interested in getting one of those solar pumps like that, they do work. But if it's too deep. They do float, so if if you're if it's a hit or miss, you gotta either have it just right, not too shallow, not too thing, because it's gonna do this, and then that water is gonna be gone, and then they're just gonna be sitting there running with their little hearts out and not pumping any water. So just be careful. I was surprised the one on the left started working because, like I say, yesterday I put it out in the sun all day and. It never did nothing, not, at, not once. I guess it just really had to get charged up. Same way with my, uh, can you see my gazing balls out there? Well, I had them out front and they weren't getting enough light. They were in the shade too much. And uh, so I put them in the garage, got them out and let them sit there. They, last night, the one on the left, bloat, it was so bright. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I'm mean, gonna probably have to put them out front so that if they don't keep the whole yard blue. But the one on the right never did come back on. I'm gonna have to find another light for it. But uh, got those got those at Hobby Lobby. They were discounted, you know, when I got them. I did replace the satellite bulb on one of them. And when I bought the replacement, it was like $29.99. I looked it up a while ago to replace it, $74.95. People are just being terrible about that. Yeah, I like that. As long as there's no direct wind, that goes pretty good. So if you can think of something you would like for it to be, or if you have a really sunny spot, you know, you can do that. And again, if you don't want to use it, you could do like I did. I put it up in a dark place so that, you know, it wouldn't try to run itself to death. And um, I'll show you the back side. Help me to. There's no way to turn it off or do anything. It's just a pump. Okay, just a pump. There's no off or on switch, nothing. It's supposed to have those little sticky things on there, but that hose is in its way, but so it will flatten out. See how long it takes for it to get back for the sun to make it go again. I tell you, that one does take a lot of, uh, takes a lot of time for the sun to get it hooked up the battery charging doesn't charge very much. How come you're not going? Come on, come on, come on. Did I break you by picking you up? Well, it's running, but I stop. I can, you can put your, touch your hand on it and you can feel it barely jabbing. Well, I wonder what's going on with that. I th well, I tell you, it must take a lot more to charge it to make it run than this other one. That's what I was trying to tell you about the, see how this is in a circular thing? This one does pretty good, but see how this one's like panels. I'm just wondering. Oh, tried to get me. Well, I hope y'all are having a good day. I don't know what we're gonna do today, probably nothing. But still, let's let me see my flowers and let me see uh, my bird bath, how it turned out the other day. There's my peacock. I have to find a place for him to live. These are motion activated lights and if he stays there, that light will just come on all night long. But this lights up a real pretty blue, it's solar, so it's real nice to be. I do like that little bird bath, but I do need to notch out the side for the hose. You know, I don't think that's a good way for it to do. I like this one too. 
Well, I guess I messed that one up again. I don't know. It's a good possibility that I, maybe that uh, wire underneath there is soft or something. Soft, I mean, It's gonna come back up. Well, it was working. Y'all saw it, right? But see how it does. That that water just blows out, and you know, play it already lost an inch of water just down there on the ground, blowing out. That's so funny. That little table. It's a patio table that I got from family at Dollar, and it was must be five dollars, and it was bent. And that was the last one they had. And so she let me have it for $2, I think it was. And uh, my daughter didn't like it, but that's okay. It's, but it, it's either a plant stand or, uh, or a stool. And it's really good to sit around a little patio table. So uh, then I got that tray at HEB and it was $2. And I, when I got the tray, it wasn't, I didn't have an idea of using it for a tray. I just was going to use it for uh, something like this, or a bird bath or something, you know. But see, now here's the sun. The sun went back down just a little bit. You wouldn't think it that much. Now watch it, see, it hit it, those it spurt, spurt. Watch it again. See, not, not sunning in it. It has to be direct sun. So if y'all are thinking about investing in it, I have no idea what they are now. I, I thought they were about $30. Might, maybe 19 maybe 15 I don't know. I do think the one with the round things are better. Now, maybe I'm hurting this guy's feelings on the left here, but I don't know. I wonder if it's going to be your left or my left or your right or my right. Is this mirrored? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, well, y'all have a good day. <laughs> Life over 70, here I am. <laughs> okay. Quarantine still, not quarantine, but staying in, see? Sun changed a little bit. There it is coming up again. Ah. Oh. Anyway, it could, it does work good. It does work when it, for what it says, direct sun only. Okay. Enjoy. Y'all be safe. Bye.